Thank you, Stage 1 and Early Years, and welcome to this morning's Friday Assembly. To start off this morning, I'm going to go straight to your teachers, who are going to share some of their stars of the week. Over to you, teachers. Morning, A1 people. My lead to Isamili Explorers. As you know, last time we were superheroes. We were busy saving the world. But now we are going to be Isamilo explorers. We are going to explore the world. It's just unfortunate that we cannot go far. We have to stay within our environment. And I know you guys found a lot of in interesting stuff in your yard, just like I did. For me, I have resorted to bird watching. I have discovered that I have like more than 20 species of birds in my yard. So I use these binoculars every evening to watch the birds coming and they come to drink water because these days it's not raining so they come to my house to drink a lot of water and I'm really enjoying. I hope you are going to also share some stuff with me. And you guys have been doing a lot of wonderful work. I've seen some drawings of the world, the continents and the oceans and all of you are doing so great. However, today I'm going to choose two stars of the week. The first star that I've picked up is somebody who has been using her words well. She has been challenging herself by using a wide range of vocabulary and her work presentation was good. And this person is... Amelia. Well done, Amelia. Keep it up. The next star, this one, is for showing a fantastic improvement in all your work. And her storytelling skills have greatly improved. I'm really proud of her. And this one goes to Keisha. Well done, Keisha. Keep it up. And you guys, continue your good work and continue exploring. Please do send me everything that you find. I'll try to take pictures of the birds that I watch. Until we meet again, stay safe. I love you all. Bye bye. So well done, Rhea. Um, to everybody else, I hope you have a really good weekend and see you next week. Uh, I guess all of you have had a lovely and wonderful week. This is Mrs. Jetta. It's so nice to see you all of you. Today, uh, I have thought very hard. All of you have been working so hard and I'm super proud of all of you. Today, I'm going to give a uh, start of the week. And this person has been very, very creative and has submitted such wonderful work. And the person that I'm going to give the start of the week is Hayan. Hayan has been very, very creative. He made a cube out of cardboard and he made a sphere out of sand. Well done, Hayan. I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Bye. Have a lovely weekend. Good morning, children. Good morning, Yatu Silva. How have you been? I hope you've been well. I've also been well. I have, um, I recently picked up a daily challenge. So every day I'm supposed to write down a list of three things that I'm grateful for. So on today's challenge, one of the things that I was grateful for is the fact that I've had you guys for almost a year now in my class. And you guys have been wonderful. You have been lovely children to teach. You have inspired my teaching. You have inspired me to be a better teacher. Um, so I'm grateful to all of you for how wonderful you've been throughout the year. Um, so... Uh, on two stars of the week, 
So for this week's stars of the week, I picked two children. The first one is Rita Bakalema. Now Rita has really impressed me uh, this recent weeks with her attitude towards learning, with her use of uh, punctuation and conjunctions in her writing. Her story writing skills have really improved and I'm very, very proud of that. She's also putting good effort into her numeracy work. So Rita, well done. I see your efforts. I appreciate it. Uh, you are one of the stars of the week this week. So our second star of the week is uh, Talib Songoro. Now, Talib has Im also impressed me this last week. He has put immense effort into his writing work. He has been working very hard in his numeracy. He is resilient. Even when he faces challenges, he often does not give up. So Talib, I see your efforts. I see how, how much you're pushing yourself, how hard you're working. Uh, so that makes you our second star of the week. So well done to Rita and Talib. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good effort. I'm very, very proud of you. And uh, to the rest of you, yeah, two else. I see the effort you're putting into your work. I appreciate it. You guys have been working very, very hard. Keep at it. Keep pushing yourselves to do better. You can do anything you put your minds into. Um, so I want you guys to also remember to keep a positive attitude, to have an attitude of uh, uh, a, a gratitude. Remind yourselves of all the things you have to be grateful for. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye bye. Good morning everybody. I hope that you've had a fantastic week and have done lots of super learning. This week for Star of the Week I'm going to give it to Shivanch because he can now write his numbers from 1 to 50 all by himself and I've seen lots of fantastic improvement in him. And also to Zainab, she's making great progress with her work at home. Keep it up good guys, good job, bye! Well done to each of you who has been made a star of the week so far. Before we hear the rest of the stars of the week, it is time for a story. This week's story is going to be read to us by Miss Vuhahula. So I'm going to hand over to you, Miss Vuhahula, and let's listen to our story. One time there was a dog that lived with his family. And then one day there was a ball stuck in the tunnel. And the, everyone was like, oh, you are too small. You can do anything. You can do anything. And they said, okay, I am small. And then one day there was a ball stuck in a tunnel. And then there was nobody who could get through the tunnel. And the little duck said, okay, can I have a chance? They said, no, you are so little. You cannot do anything. But the little duck went into the tunnel and with little big it went, it fetched the ball out of the, of the tunnel and everybody said, wow, you managed. And this little duck said, yes, I can do something. What is the message? Though you are little, you can do something. So you can, proud, you can be proud of yourself that you can do something. Enjoy your life and just be proud of yourself. Thank you for a lovely story. Next, we will go back to your teachers to hear about some more Stars of the Week. Hi there boys and girls, good morning. Hope you're all doing fine and keeping healthy and safe. Today we're going to have two stars of the week. And the first star of the week is going to be Wangari. Wangari, I'm very impressed and I'm very happy too for you have been working hard in your assignments and you have been doing your best well done keep it up keep on working keep on focusing and keep on using that joint handwriting of yours it's really lovely keep it up the second star of the week is going to be Daksh Daksh is being the star of the week for attempting all his assignments and submitting them on time he has he has a very great improvement in his handwriting and using capital letters at the beginning of the sentence. Well done, Daksh. Well done, Wangari. Keep it up. Well done, year two gold. Um, looking forward to seeing you working more, harder, and doing your best. And 
finally succeeding in your academic uh, programs. Um, have a good day. Have a nice weekend. And enjoy yourself. Bye. See you next time. Hey everyone, how are you today? Hello, preschool one. Love you and missing you. And today I've got some work to show you about some of your friends that have been doing some work. And I would like to take this opportunity to encourage everyone to send in their work. The time after time we'll be having lots and lots and different people showing up their work. So I'd like to appreciate a lot, especially parents. You're working hard with the children in such time. I know it's not so easy for you because you've got other chores to do. But I'm so grateful that you're working hard with the children. And I'm seeing all the beautiful work your, ch your children are doing. I'm very pleased and I say parents, let's move on till the Berkeley is over. Thank you so much for your help. Same time in preschool one, we are working on our numbers, letter formation and counting backwards and forward. This is Leanna's work. She tried very hard working on letter formation and counting backwards. Well done, Leanna. And the second star of the week goes to you, Leanna. Thank you. Parents for your support again. Well done. I am very pleased with the children's work. Please continue working together with me. Thank you. And are working very hard on their letter sounds and they are really practicing how to form letters. And after their letter formation, they color their pictures, which I'm very pleased. This is Milda's work. She really concentrated and looked constantly on the picture and colored it nicely inside. Well done, Milda. So the star of the week this week goes to Milda. Hello, good morning, everyone. How are you? It's Kathomi here. Oh, I miss you so much, you guys. My little explorers. Our little is our little explorers. You've been doing amazing work with exploring, finding out about things, about your environment, and about lots and lots of things. So, when I think about this week, I imagine how much fun we'd have had in class. You know, like pointing to the months of the year, pointing to the days of the week, but we still had fun. Because we, when we were learning about the months of the year, by now, you all know which month you were born in. You all know that in a month, how many weeks are there in a year, how many months are there. And that's really interesting because when we look at a month like February, which has um, how many days? 28 and 29 days. I mean, that, that's a little bit interesting. Well, enough of that. Well done for submitting amazing work. You all, all really, really, really improved in your work. Now, let's go to that. Star of the week. We start with who? Carl. Carl, you're the star of the week for really impressing me with your fantastic attitude towards story writing and a good sense of humor, especially about your baby sister. Carl, every time you write a story and you include your baby sister, it cracks me up. It's really interesting. You got a good sense of humor. Well done, Carl. And our second star of the week is Garrick. Garrick, you're the star of the week for your incredible improvement in writing and becoming more independent in comp uh, composing your sentences. Well done, Garrick. I've loved your sentences. They were amazing. I can see you really, really working hard on them. And my lovely ones, our little explorers, remember we said we we're going to have a surprise with me and Miss Machue. Keep watching and looking out for it. But for now, as usual, what am I doing? Sending you big, big, big hugs. Ooh. I'm squeezing all of you are inside here and I miss you so much and I am saying I love you and I miss you and hope to see you soon Bye. and that wraps up our stars this week so well done if you were one of those people your teachers has talked about keep working hard I know every week your teachers say it's really difficult to choose 
So keep working hard and maybe next week it could be you. But now it is heading towards the end of our assembly. That means it's time for some songs. So I've been sent some suggestions for songs this week. So I will cut to these songs, sing loud, sing out, sing with your family, your friends, get everyone involved. And it's time to sing. The world is split up into continents, there are seven in all. And if you get the gist, we're gonna make a list from biggest to small. They are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world lives here, but whatever. And I am Africa with desert for miles, and my Nile is the longest river. North America, start down in Panama, wide open spaces all the way to Canada. I'm South America with animals galore, where the rainforest grows, cause the rain really pours. I'm on I'm Europe, you're welcome for the pasta, pizza, waffles, and fries. I am Australia, some call me Oceania. I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to ya. We are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Okay, everybody, put one hand on your hip like a handle and the other hand out to the side like a spout. Are you ready, little teapots? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Do you hear that? I think the kettle's ready. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Tip me over and pour me out. Let's take a walk in the jungle. Walking in the jungle, walking in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. Walking in the jungle, walking in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop! Listen! What's that? It's a frog! We're not afraid! Let's jump! Stomping in the jungle, stomping in the jungle we're not afraid, we're not afraid. Stomping in the jungle, stomping in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop. Listen. What's that? 
It's a monkey. We're not afraid. Let's jump. Jumping in the jungle, jumping in the jungle. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. Jumping in the jungle, jumping in the jungle. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop. Listen. What's that? It's a toucan. We're not afraid. Let's skip. Skipping in the jungle, skipping in the jungle. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. Skipping in the jungle, skipping in the jungle. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop. Listen. What's that? It's a, it's a tiger. tiger. Sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop. Sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Jump, little bunnies. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, little bunnies. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up, little bunnies. Skip, little bunnies. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, little bunnies. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, little bunnies. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, little bunnies. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. What lovely singing! And that is the end of our assembly this week. I will see you next Friday morning. For our Key Stage 1 and Early Years Assembly. And remember, you are always very welcome to join us for our Key Stage 2 Assembly at 2 o'clock today. Bye!